Hello, this is a LBCC library demonstration of Academic Search Premier. That's one of the main databases used by many students at LBCC. Um, another one is CINAHL if you're in healthcare. Because they're both provided by the same company and they look a lot alike, I'm just going to demonstrate Academic Search Premier. Once you know how to use this one, you'll know how to use CINAHL pretty well. So for today, my research question will be, uh, are later high school start times having a positive impact on students? So I already developed a sample search. I'm just going to say sleep, high school, and start times, and throw it all in this line. So we got 55 results. That's pretty good. Now, if you got more results, you could limit it down. Um, right now it is full text. Let me show you what happens if you uncheck that. We actually get more results, but that will include things that have this request through interlibrary loan uh, notice. What you can do is you can click on the title and request it, and we'll get it to you in a few days. But we don't have the full text. There's only the abstract, and so we have to get it from a different library. So if you're in a hurry, I do suggest doing full text. You also notice that you can limit to scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. And you can also limit by date. For STEM fields and healthcare, I recommend uh, about the last five years or so to get the most up-to-date information as those fields are always changing. For things like humanities, it's not quite as important. So now we have 22 results. Uh, when I look over my results, I'll take a look at the titles, um, but I also pay more attention to some of the stuff, like the publication information. Usually there's the author, but you can also see the journal that it's part of, and like how many pages it is. So, you know, if it's just one page, maybe it's pretty short. Um, and I look closely at the abstract. Reading that over usually has more details than the title and will give you a better picture of if the article will be useful to you or not. And so I'll look at each one of those for usually the first page or two. And what that'll tell me is if my search terms that I used are getting good results. If they're not getting me good results and I don't see what I want in the first couple pages, uh, I really don't want to spend time reading through each and every one of these. However, these were pretty good. Um, one thing that you'll notice in addition to the abstract is these subjects. And these can be really helpful because these tell you uh, the exact terms that the database assigned to the article. And they'll do this so that you can find a lot of articles with similar topics. They're kind of like, kind of like tags. Um, but to do the best search and get the most accurate results, you kind of need to know the subjects or tags. So they use sleep deprivation, interest, interestingly, instead of just sleep. Um, and I do want to study sleep deprivation, so that's interesting to know. But instead of like start and end times, they like school schedules. So to do a pretty uh, more advanced search and really narrow down what's in the database that's related to my topic, I probably would do a search with school schedules and sleep deprivation. And I would just copy and paste those up into the search bar and run that search. Uh, I'm not going to show that to you right now. Um, let me show you uh, some other cool tools. Once you find an article that you like, um, I usually look, click on the title, and you'll get the full text. Uh, you'll see some of this information laid out a bit better. Um, but you also see where you can print it and email it, and where you can cite it. This is really nice because they've made the APA citation and the MLA citation that you can copy and paste and use for your paper. Uh, I will say, when you copy and paste this, before you turn it into your instructor, make sure that everything has been formatted correctly. 
And because these are auto-generated, sometimes they have mistakes. So do add your human brain to the computer, um, but that saves you some time. All right, uh, that's the overview. You're welcome to visit us in the library or contact us via phone or email anytime.